below all my uh, 192,000 uh, fans across the whole world. It's me, it's Johnny D, your friend, your singer. I'm well, here to give you all my happy music. I'm back out of the hospital, and my wife actually took that thing out of my my private little thing down there, so I can go to Washington the regular way, and I feel great. Thank God she's smart enough to do something like that. I don't know why she didn't do it, but as soon as we got home here, of course, she, the first night I think she was real tired and cold from the trip home to the hospital because of that lazy uh, lung, uh, uh, lung uh, uh, oxygen driver. That company sent over, we didn't get home till midnight, for Christ's sake. But next day she could have took that thing out of my penis. And I wouldn't have been in pain. I've been in pain for, for days. I can't sit down on a chair. I can hardly walk. All the time my, number, my penis was hurting me terribly bad. I scream sometimes. It hurts so much. The only relief I could find was laying down on my couch or my bed. Now, is that why did they put that thing in the first place? And I didn't pee a drop over to the hospital. I always used that uh, that plastic thing that you're supposed to use to take a leak in, in the bed. I never put one drop of urine on the floor, and you can get. They insisted I put the thing on me before I left the hospital. Well, I would never go to that crazy ass hospital again, people, for the rest of my life. Don't ever go to St. Vincent's Hospital. Those people are insane. They'll drive you to a bunch of pain. And if you don't do exactly what they say, they'll punish you. How? By putting gloves on your hands. Milton's, where you can't touch nothing. And you live like that for days in and days out. Isn't that against the law? Well, would you like someone did that to you and had control of your mind where you actually believed those things that were on your hands? They had control of my mind to do that. Is that against the law? You all you police out there, are you listening to me around the world? Do you do that in your hospital, in your country, in Europe? In Australia, in China, Russia? Korea? Japan? Philippines? No, because you can't do anything that thing uh, uh, Vincent does because they're the rulers of the world. They can do whatever they want there and nobody gives a good God asking question. Why? All they had to do was tell me, either put this mask on your face and it'll give you uh, air down your mouth and nose or they didn't mention to me that all you need to do is let us put uh, this nose stuff in your nose. The, you know, this thing. That's all they had to do was stop. Well, you can use this, John, if you don't want to use that big mask over your face, which you can hardly hurt your face. I you, you tell us it hurts your face, and you tell us that you can't barely see with that mask on. Why did they t just put the, the the thing up my nose and give me some oxygen? Why? Go, somebody go ask that stupid hospital why? I suffered. They punished me for not putting that thing on by putting mat mock mittens on my hands where I couldn't touch nothing. For days in and days out. Is that legal, Mr. President? Mr. Trump, is that legal? Do they do that in Washington, D.C.? Do you ever go to the hospital, Mr. President, Mr. Trump? I'm telling you, I can't take this world anymore. These things are changing too much. You guys ever watch YouTube stories? 
Can you hear what they're telling you? That the 911 was all fake? It was all done by holograms? Yes, the military has holograms now. And it, uh, back to the moon in 1969, in the summer of July, 1969, got through my first divorce, uh, drank in the bars every night because I was a little drunk, couldn't stand being alone. My wife left me, my uh, two kids, got to pay the child support for them. What a world. And then the, those TV broadcasts they made. That was all the Hollywood video people. That was the military. They had, way back then in 1969, they had holocausts. What's the holocaust you ask? I'm, I'm sure your little kids are asking, what the hell is he talking about? What is the holocaust? A holocaust is a movie of not unreal stuff. They could put in that movie whatever they want. They could put a, a full jet plane full of passengers, a, a regular U.S. flying jet. You make it crash into a building and make it seem like it's so real you wouldn't believe otherwise. Why did they do that in the first place? Didn't they kill a bunch of people in that building? And they crashed a certain part of that building they wanted those people to be gotten rid of so the owner of that building could get insurance money at $4 billion. It's all about the money, people. Does other countries do this too? And just because we're $2.3 trillion in the hole, do they need to cover up to make something more exciting to the people so they can hide that $2.3 trillion deficit? That was going on at the same time. Or they do it because they wanted to go to Iraq and get all that oil out of that country. The rich people. The rich people were in this world, people. Not the government. The rich people tell the government what to do. It's time, I'm 75 years old, it's time you kids learn your lesson from the ground up. Not like I had to. Well, at the time I went to school for eight years in grade school, four years in high school, some couple of college courses. They never told me. They told me Edison was a great inventor. Edison is not a great inventor. All he does knows how to do is make money. He, he knows business, but he doesn't know science. He tried to give us DC current. If we got DC current, electricity costs you 10 times what it does today. Just to deliver it to your house. Um, uh, the guy, uh, the inventor, uh, Nicholas, Nicholas something, uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, it's such a shame, I can't tell you. Uh, the famous inventor of all time was living back then. He came over and worked with uh, Edison to uh, work for Edison. Edison didn't even invent the light bulb, for Christ's sake. I'm talking about, you know, what's the owner of those brand new electric cars, or what's the name of it? Uh, I'll think of it after a while. Anyway, uh, you're covering up the most smartest man in history. He's not in my history books or nothing. How do you expect me to remember him? You, have to, you people have to watch YouTube stories. It'll tell you a lot of stuff that you don't already know. And the thing back in 1969, the astronauts going to the moon. That was a Hollywood movie. That was a holocaust. They made up that. They wanted you to believe that we could go to the moon and beat the Russians. To make you feel good. The truth is, there's aliens here, everybody. Everybody in the world, there's aliens here. They live under your ocean, under your lakes. They live in a bunch of planets out there in outer space that you can't even see with a telescope because they're protected with mirrors. You can't even see them. There's 41 planets in the solar system. Not nine or eight now, whatever it is. I'm telling you people, you gotta wake up and watch YouTube stories. Did you know the rich people in this country run this world? Not the government. They tell the government what to do. 
in 1930s, when we were under a depression, and the, million, and the millionaires in this country decided to make some more money by helping Germany up start another world war by giving them oil to help them build their planes and their tanks and all the other military equipment and it put their airplanes. We helped them. So the millionaires can make some more money starting another world war. And Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor, that's part of Hawaii people. You little kids in the South Pacific Ocean where your parents might go someday for a vacation if they got enough bread. <laughs> and they'll need it too. We had a base over there uh, 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 the base over there in the uh, in Hawaii, and we knew about the attack coming three months before the Japanese even decided to attack Hawaii, Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. All those guys suffered a, a, a erroneous death. The Japan's planes were all over it, shooting everything down, shooting them right off, blowing up their ships with fire. They died a horrible death. All because the millionaires in this country wanted to make some more money and they had to get the United States into World War II. Does that make sense to you? And with all this warring going on, with the millionaires trying to make more money every day and millions of dollars off the World Trade Centers, and other, the other reason they attacked the World Trade Centers was uh, they didn't like Saddam Hussein printing his money. That's against the rules. How can we make money if we can't keep the U.S. dollar number one? Also, Iraq has a lot of oil. We need oil for our trains, cars, and buses, and our jet planes, and everything else under the sun that you use oil for. One thing you gotta use it for is lubrication, for your car engine, for my uh, machine shop work. I need oil to keep my gears, everything running smooth in there. Sometimes you use oil for cutting. I'm a machinist. I've been a machinist for 50 years before I started singing. I mean, I would have been singing all these years, but never on air. Anyway, my son told me to make another video for you because you really liked the first one I did. Whoa, I hear some jet planes coming way out west here. We're about 30 miles in the ocean where I live now. Did you hear that? Jet planes going just 30 miles in the ocean. That's that's how far the base is away. Of course, today's jets, they travel so fast they could be over here in seconds. That's the first time I heard of a bunch of jet planes. I thought out here we wouldn't hear anything. We're way in the west side. West is away from the ocean. We're about 30 miles from the ocean where I live now. We live in uh, Orange Park. That's just below Jacksonville. It's about 12 miles southeast, south, uh, Northeast to my house over here, about 12 miles northeast. If I want to go to my favorite bar by the, by the ocean now, it takes me about 20 minutes longer. My wife won't even let me out of the house. She won't give me my car keys. She won't even give me my credit card. What kind of woman is that? You know, I know. She's a loving woman. She's a good wife half the time. But, uh, why she think she uh, said the government, the hospital, the worst hospital in the country, in the whole world, told her keep John at home for a week. Don't let him go out. And she listens to that hospital. And the hospital is my enemy. Just for putting those boxing gloves on me. Why didn't they just put the? things in my nose and tell John, okay, if you don't want the, the mask on your face, you got to wear oxygen in your nose. Okay, I would have done that. I do that all over here. Look here. I'll put an oxygen. It's very simple. See, these little things. You look around your ears just like that and you pull. 
and you have oxygen up your nose. I don't need it all the time. It doesn't help me if I'm still walking around the house a few times around the house, around the parking up, up here. I haven't been downstairs. It's four stories now. It's the worst elevator I've ever seen in my whole life. And who the hell can use the stairs in my condition? Or maybe I can use the stairs going down as long as I'm like, careful. One wrong step and I'll fall and break something like a hip or something or my head, my neck. It takes four minutes to go up that stupid elevator when we got home that midnight, the three or four nights ago. Four minutes to go four floors. And I can't walk up four floors, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna run out of breath. I might die right there on the stair steps. I could probably go downstairs and don't take four minutes to get back down there. Well, I haven't been able to get out and use my car. How can I go out and sing karaoke? Look what they did with my lip. To make all you gotta eat, John, you gotta eat their sloppy ass food over the hospital. That food is the worst hot food I ever tasted in my whole life. I'm sorry what I said about uh, Orange Bar Carts, but I would go there a hundred times before I ever stepped foot inside that St. Vincent's house. That's the worst place you can go, people. If you ever get sick here in Jacksonville, don't go there! I'm telling you the truth. So the moon landing was fake. And I'll tell you why it's fake. There's aliens here. They live under your oceans. They live in tunnels underneath the earth. They had cities underground. There's 41 planets in our solar system and they won't let you see them because they got mirrors to hide them. You can learn a lot of things if you watch YouTube stories like I do. I know you got to go to work. You got a boyfriend or girlfriend you're chasing. You got a lot better things to do than old man Johnny D, 75 years old, sitting here in his apartment, wondering what to do or what song to sing to impress the public. I wish I could go out and have a beer. I want a drink. A Bud Light will do. I don't need no nine dollar to tequila or. Uh, what are they, uh, if you like pina coladas, I like that song. I would like a pina colada. I can't afford it. It costs nine, ten dollars in a bar. Maybe more now, who knows what they cost. They sure cost a lot of money at Red Lobster, remember that? That was five years ago. I want a drink. I want to go out and sing. I want to do something that makes me happy. I hope you can hear me good. I don't have my microphone hooked up yet. My, my wife finally hooked up my camera to the computer so I can get a broadcast to you. <laughs> I can't stream like she does. I don't know how to do it for one thing. Another thing, my, my computer is not expensive enough to do that for you. I would need a camera. I would need a special microphone for my computer, not the one I normally use, the one that attaches to the computer or one that just picks up my voice from the computer. My computer doesn't do that. It needs sound from something else. Like a, uh, right now I'm going to broadcast it to you from a Sony hand cam. It costs $600 in day's money. I got mine quite a bit cheaper than my, my wife's son by half price for years back. But it delivers a good picture. I can use my cell phone to send a picture to you also. I have an iPhone 8, but the picture quality is not as good. The sun is just as good, I would say. Well, you can tell, you can tell which one I'm using by uh, my iPhone 8 or when I'm using my uh, Sony CAD cam. The picture quality of Sony CAD cam is much better, much bigger field of view. Anyway, um, I'm also surprised to learn that the, the Germans knew uh, about a month or two ahead of time that they were going to lose the war. So they made a deal with the United States of 5,000 Germans, smart people, and uh, Adolf Hitler, of course, 
They made a deal with the U.S. Guess what they did? They helped us build the A-bomb. We don't need to already build half of it. We need to put the strikers and everything to set it off. It's like we knew how to do that. We didn't have the stuff the Germans did, the blue part of the bomb or whatever, the, the atomic reaction. And we decided to work together and exchange with we'll the 5,000 Germans come over and be U.S. citizens of this country. Believe me, they're smart people. They helped this country out quite a bit. And uh, Adolf Hitler got to come over too. He didn't die. He, was, he spent time in South America. I think he died in the Midwest Hospital here in, uh, in the United States years back, but not when they told you he did. He didn't die at the end of World War II. No. How do you know all this stuff, kids? Quit uh, teach, learning what they teach you in those grade schools and high schools that you go to. Learn some real stuff. Go to YouTube stories and watch that. If your mother and parents would let you. They'll be wondering how you knew all this strange stuff that they never even think about anymore. Like I, I didn't know about the, the inventor that went over to Edison. I never heard about him until I got out of high school and got out of college a long time ago. I didn't learn until about, about a few years back. The maker of the electric car company, what's his name? I wish I could have a live screen so you guys could tell me. My memory's not as good as it used to be. Nikolaus, Nikolai, Nikolai, what's his last name? The guy from over in Europe, the small country there, he came over here back in the 1870s and worked for Edison. Edison almost pushed his DC true. It's a good thing people he didn't. You'd be paying 10 times the amount for electricity today if he did. <laughs> you know what DC is good for? The electric chair! What they used to kill the prisoners with in the United States there. What an inhumane way to die. <laughs> oh God. You kids got a lot to learn. Uh, you don't understand who runs this world. It's not President Trump. It's not the Queen uh, King over there in England. It's not Putin. It's the millionaires. Watch the money. Follow the money. And you'll get your answers. Follow the money. And another thing. They throw uh, people my age, and, uh, young men, all over the country, uh, smoking marijuana, used to be illegal in every state of the Union. Of course, California, Colorado, it's all right to smoke pot now. But now, uh, it's only in Florida here, you can get thrown to jail for smoking the weed on the street corner. That's not allowed. That's an uh, illegal drug. Marijuana. And now they use it to help people with medicine to get rid of their pain. What, a, what kind of country do we live in here anyway? What about the pot? What about the, the cocaine? That very expensive powder. Cocaine, get a sort of that stuff. That stuff we got a lot of money for. And that's what the people in the United States do, the millionaires. They want to make more money. Where do they get that money from? By selling cocaine to the rich, other rich people. And they don't send that to jail. What kind of country is this? And where do they get that cocaine from? Do they get it from Iraq? Russia? Australia? China? Philippines? Japan? No. They get it from Afghanistan. Wake up. Afghanistan. What do you think we're over there for? Poppy. 
the popping flowers grow there. That's why we're there, to make more money. Wake up and listen to, to me, people. They teach that all that BS they teach you in grade school, in high school. You're never going to learn anything. Anyway, uh, let's change the subject and talk about something else. I wish I had a live stream like my, my wife does. Or uh, they had the money to pay for a computer to, that can get, I can do live stream on. Of course, they say, uh, I put out another song with another copyright against it. So they decided to cut my live stream in case I decided I wanted it and cut it off for a few months. That's the way YouTube works. They're money hungry people, but I can't blame they're my employer. They give me free uh, karaoke to sing. Of course, they do the same for you and everybody out there in the rest of the world. You can have, you can sing and start a channel like I do if you want to. It costs, it's for free. The one thing I pay for a hundred ten dollars a year is for a sing snap. Of course, with that I can sing with another lady across that lives in Australia or the Philippines, 12,000 miles away from here. She could sing in her living room and I could do a duet with her in my living room or in my bedroom, which I'm in now. It's the only place for my computer screen. I'm sorry, maybe I can hang a mountain picture that you guys love so much behind my bed there. <laughs> anyway, it's a stupid rule in the United States you can't shave in the hospital. And how are they supposed to protect all this stuff here? Look at those big birth, those blisters there, right? Where I tried to shave off my beard for being in the hospital for three or four weeks. What a crazy place the United States is. I hope they don't allow that in Europe. I hope they allow you guys to shave over there. Or at least have a dirt in a little park there to buy it by your lip. We can get germs there for the food to eat that isn't quite clean. That's supposed to be a sanitary hospital? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, big laugh. Look at me, I'm ugly. I got blisters coming right off my mouth. That's terrible. Lucky I only spent 12 days in the uh, Orange Park Hospital where I live now. But I'd much rather go back there, even though they treat me like a little baby there. I'd much rather go back there than go back anywhere there. And then, uh, if I'm gonna drive past that St. Vincent's Hospital, I'm gonna hold my nose and turn my head as I pass it. Wow, well good thing I don't have to drive out over there. There's no karaoke bars downtown. There's no place to park a car if there was. Where would you park your car when you went to the sink? Well, you're supposed to walk five blocks or pay somebody ten, twenty dollars to park your car where you go sing at a karaoke bar downtown Jacksonville. Crazy. I can't afford it. And why would I want to? When there's other karaoke places that have parking lots. I don't need to worry thing all the time. And I can't wear it either. If I go to a bar, it smokes. And it's not like Illinois here or New York State. They're smoking uh, a lot, almost 90% of the bars over here. You can't go into a karaoke bar where people are smoking cigarettes, cigars, pipes, whatnot, and with a lung air oxygen. You might start a fire and go right up your nose. No kidding, that's what they tell me. They tell me that, not even go by my stove. And I own an electric stove here. There's no gas here in Florida. At least not in the parts where I live. There are electric ranges. Is that supposed to start a fire too? If I go in there with my lung thing on, with my oxygen through my nose? Some of you scientists call me back or write a comment after you see this video and let me know. I'm sorry we don't have live streaming because I'm sure you can help me out with a lot of people who I can't remember. 
like the inventor that worked with Edison. I wish I had live streaming. I wish I could afford a computer like that. And still, I know PewDiePie helped me out. Believe you people, but would you still watch me if I was a, really, a bad singer? Sure, he gave me a start. I appreciate that. And I, I helped him win the T-Series with my video. But I'm surprised that he didn't want to help me back. I thought we were good friends. We really think the show is funny too. We're uh, subscribers just like you are. I don't know why.